Now we're gonna practice some of that core breathing lying on our side so that we can start to incorporate some of our other core muscles like our transverse abdominis and our pelvic floor. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lie down on our side. You're gonna stack your hips so your knees are gonna to be together and your feet are gonna to be together. You can also put a little pillow between your knees if that makes those feel better. What I want you to do is put your hand right up on your rib cage, just like we practiced when you were sitting. And we're gonna practice our deep breathing again. So you're gonna take a nice deep breath in for a count of two. And blow out for a count of four. And I want you to feel those ribs moving out and up, just like we talked about, like the bucket handle. So we're gonna practice that one more time. Take a nice deep breath in. And out and you should feel that hand move now you can practice this lying on both sides so that you can make sure both sides of your rib cage are moving evenly um, and then we can progress on to the next uh, part of the exercise so for this part of the exercise we're gonna start to incorporate those deep abdominal muscles the muscles that are your internal back brace that are gonna help to stabilize and support your back and your pelvis we're also going to work on incorporating that pelvic floor contraction. So we're going to think about lifting the pelvic floor muscles um, as we do this contraction. So we're going to start with our breathing. You're going to put your hand wherever you feel the most comfortable. If you want to put it on your rib cage, you can feel that moving. That's fine. If you want to put it down on your hips, you can put your fingers kind of right to the inside of your hip bone right there so that you can feel that deep abdominal muscle contract. You'll feel it uh, firm up and, and pull in. So wherever you want to put it, wherever muscle you're trying to target, go ahead and put your hands there. Uh, we're going to work on our breath first. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in. And blow out for a count of four. And on your exhale, I want you to think about pulling the, your belly button in just slightly. And you're going to think about pulling your pelvic floor muscles in and as if they're lifting. So we're going to try that one more time. So take a deep breath in for a count of two. Blow out and you're going to draw that belly button in and think about lifting that pelvic floor as you contract and then relax. Try it one more time. Deep breath in and out. Pelvic floor muscles come up and in and belly button also comes in. So that is how you should correctly contract your core muscles incorporating your pelvic floor with your breathing.